Am I glad you're here? This man was trying to make me write a false confession, implicating myself as Dr. Vulcan. That ring you're wearing is confession enough. How can I make you believe and understand me? This is a fraternity ring, worn by the members of a secret scientific club. There are many of them in existence. But yours is the only one at Science Associates. No. No, there's one other member of the Associates who wears an identical ring. Who is that man? Quiet. It. I never noticed Conway wearing the ring you say you saw on Vulcan's hand. I don't think that was a coincidence. Vulcan planted it on Conway before our last conference. And Vulcan had to know that you'd be looking for that particular ring at the meeting where you planned to confront him. Apparently. I only told Bert Winslow. Winslow? Well, I've always considered Winslow above suspicion, Professor, but Vulcan invariably seems to learn of my plans. I think I'll go back to the laboratory now and see if I can find out how he does it. Well, good luck, Jeff. A half-finished confession of guilt for all the crimes against science associates was found in the dead man's room. Police, therefore, are convinced that Professor Conway was a murderer and saboteur in the pay of an unfriendly power. That doesn't make sense, Bert. Even an absent-minded professor would finish his suicide note before killing himself. You think someone else did it? Yes. The real Dr. Vulcan. It just occurred to me that we've been overlooking the most logical suspect. Jeff King himself. Jeff, don't be ridiculous. Now listen. He's the only one besides us who knew where Conway was hiding. And it's obvious Conway's murder was designed to leave Vulcan free to make his next move unhampered by suspicion and vigilance. Jeff could have planted that ring on Conway before your meeting. But if that was Jeff's plan, why would he let me in on it? So you'd back up his innocence, just as you're doing now? If you want me to prove to you that Jeff King is not Dr. Vulcan, we'll go down to that lab right now and start an investigation. All right. Seven, this is Jeff King. I've decided to accept your proposition. A 
just completed work on my ultrasonic firing tube. And I'm ready to sell it myself, rather than give Vulcan the flaker. Don't worry about science associates. I'll tell them the experiment was a failure. I'll bring it to the barn at the old Bar H ranch at 4 o'clock. You have a job to do at 4 o'clock this afternoon. If Jeff isn't Dr. Vulcan himself, he's working for him. Looks like that's all the proof we'll need. Oh, but nabbing him in the act of selling that firing tube, I'm going to be waiting for them at the barn. I want to go, too. All right, but you can't go dressed like that. You drive over to the garage, and we'll try and pick up some rougher clothes. surprised at anything Dr. Vulcan does. Okay. Then hand over the firing tube. Not so fast, Jeff King. Bert, let me explain to you. Bert, wait a minute. Listen to me. Listen to me. I did, you traitor. I heard you talking over the telephone in the conference room. But that was for the benefit of a hidden microphone. That package I gave Durkin contained... I know what was in that package. Now listen to me, Bert. Durkin may be leading us to Vulcan's headquarters. There's a direction finder in that package he took with him. What? That's right. But Durkin also took Glenda with him. Glenda? Yes, we thought there was a secret firing tube in that package. She was trying to get it away from Durkin. I saw her get into the plane. Durkin calling Dr. Vulcan. Durkin calling Dr. Vulcan. This is Dr. Vulcan. Come in, Durkin. I got that firing tube from Jeff King. Are you sure he didn't slip you a concealed direction finder? Signals are coming over my radio amplifier. Stand by, I'll check it. You're right, it was a plant. Throw it overboard and change your course in case you're being trailed. Right. Either this detector's gone haywire, 
Well, Durkin's discovered the direction finder and ditched it. And how are we going to know where he's taking Glenda? You'd better get to the nearest telephone and call the police aeronautics division. Tell them I'll contact their planes by radio if I can relocate Durkin on this. Right. You're next, sister.